what's going on. All right, so this uh, this here hive is off a split that uh, um, I made. This was an emergency split that I made off of that hive right there back in, I believe this would have been mid-April. I have done a couple inspections on this hive. Uh, seems to be doing pretty well. This has got a uh, uh, a carny a carniola queen in there. So let me get everything situated up here. We'll dig into it and we'll see what's going on with it. So I'm gonna give a little couple puffs here at the entrance. Same similar yesterday. I'm gonna try to show you the frames a little better. This cover. These particular covers are called telescoping covers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off. Set that aside. I grab my high tools, my flashlight. Flashlights are always a good thing to have in your tool. Um, obviously, I kept this one on, but I got the light on my phone right now, so it should be all right. Change the batteries in that one. It allows you to be able to see in the frames um, much, much better. Like I said yesterday, sometimes on these, uh, these uh, upper inner lids, which is all of this here, like I said, and like I said yesterday, these are uh, uh, inbox free um, feeders, top feeders, and it's always good to have two. that crack open like that. Now I'm going to, like I said yesterday, I'm going to pour some smoke in here. Set that down. And what that will do like, do, like I said yesterday, is if I had any bees under this lid, but up on top of the lid underneath, that should push them back down into the hive. It's a little piece of burr cone. So let's pull that off. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Yeah, you can. There's some bees underneath there. Like I said, these are, are uh, carnies. They're going to be a little bit darker uh, than the other ones. Like and like I said, this was, a, was off of a split. Let's get into it and see what we got. <laughs> if you can see already, there's there's honey up here. Tasting. So we're going to start off by looking. I'm just looking at this particular hive, it's really not going to matter where I pull the primes from. I'm going to, I'm going to pull them from this one. Plus the pre. I hope 
fully expect to be stung today just because of the, the type of bees these are the only advantage I got is that it is it is very cool today so I have that working for me so let's make some space in here careful so I don't want to roll the queen all right this is a full frame front and back is probably uh, 10 to 15 pounds of honey on this one frame and yeah you know uh, I'm gonna put that in there. Beekeeping looks like light work. Maybe it's easy. You wouldn't think that those frames weigh that much. But if you get a big box like this that's just loaded with honey, a box like this could weigh over a hundred pounds. Have a hundred pounds of honey on these 10 frames. And I'm not just saying that, it could easily have over 100 pounds of honey. Alright. And this here, I'm pretty much sure this is another full frame, front and back, of honey. Wow, okay. Okay. I may. I may have to do some honey harvesting. This is got just a tiny bit of brood on it those uh these little dark sandpapery looking things here that's cat brood but as you can see on the other side here all honey and the rest of this is nectar and gonna be changed into honey Kind of like what you want to see this next frame i'm looking at it and uh i'm seeing brood on this frame quite a bit of brood actually so let's pull that out And it'd stick to the bottom of the frame there. Okay, so you can see they're putting uh, nectar down in here. There is some larva. Of course, up in here you got your capped honey or capped brood. The capped honey's up in here, and you got capped honey there as well. And on the back side of this, we're looking, we're looking at virtually uh, the same thing. We got a lot of brood 
out in here. Uh, much capped honey around the outside. And uh, look at the darker color of these bees. They are a different breed there, the Carniolas. Okay, I guess I don't really have to worry too much about the burke on the mat. They're all busted off down there. I'm gonna put that. Now I am moving more frames out than I did yesterday. If you'll notice that. Uh, just because I got a lot of honey in here. And uh, it's a backbreaker trying to lift these boxes up when, when there's a lot of honey in it. I've probably moved uh, close to 35 pounds uh, of honey out of this box just by pulling those four frames. They're a little crowded up there. I need to get into that, so. Let's uh let's put them down there. lighter frame guessing we got a lot of brood on here and we do I'll try to get up in here I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this there is uh, you see a lot of larva up in here this whole and this is cat brood a lot of larva cat brood out here. Uh, looks pretty good. Got uh, maybe some egg in there. This side of the frame, we're looking. There's a ton of larva in here. A lot of uh, nectar, first cap honey around the side. Uh, this queen seems to be doing her due diligence. Chickens up there freaking out. A little bit heavier, so of course I'm dealing with a little bit more. I mean, but look at here. Such a good frame of brood. I got brood all up in here. Uh, a little bit of pollen. A lot of larva. Same with this one here. Just a ton of a ton of brood. A lot of larva in here. Really a nice looking frame.
again. Cat brood. Larva. There's probably some eggs down in there, but I am not really seeing the end. Same with this one here. See a lot of, if you can see the white in this one here and out here on the side, you'll notice that uh, all this whiteness in here, that's all larva. It looks like little worms. Try to get that in a little closer. Maybe you guys will be able to see that a little better. Uh, no swarm cells yet. This was a great, this was a good split. I was actually doing really strong. Get more brood, more nectar. Uh, the next frame, it's mostly just all honey. Again, but like I was saying in yesterday's video, oh, that's where you can expect to find most of your honey is toward the outside. It's toward the outside frames. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, heavy, heavy. Okay. Full frame of honey, it's capped up on both sides. This last frame, over here, this is probably where it should have started. Uh, it's still on foundation. They haven't even really drawn this comb out all the way yet. They're, they're working on honey on this side, but on this side, it's still foundation. I'm gonna make a coach's call here. We're gonna put that in there, like that. Beautiful. I think so. I think so. Now I'm gonna rest it just a little bit here because even with those four frames gone, this box is gonna be fairly heavy. If you think that uh, uh, beekeeping, oh yeah, man, it it, it, it looks easy until you start getting into the honey. <laughs> and when you start pulling boxes off, that's when it, uh, that's when it starts getting uh, uh, a little challenging. But like I said, you know, um, 
I took those out of there. Uh, just for the sole purpose of lightening up this box before I take it off of, off of here. It still applies the same thing applies for just for this as it does taking off the lid. I could squirt some in there like that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack this box up. Even though the smoke is gonna escape out through the top, it's still if you've seen that, it still drove the bees kind of down into the lower box. Uh, I think that when I put this back together, I'm going to grab a couple of uh, drawn comb frames out of the uh, goat barn there. I'm going to keep a couple of these honey frames in, the, in this nuke and, uh, and uh, switch it out for some... Uh, so that they have some room for brood. I'll probably maybe maybe two, two or three frames. We'll see how the bottom box looks. It's still very heavy. Now I told you I was going to leave this like this. This is a great way to see what we got going on underneath. I set the set it up like uh, like this. And now if you look in here, you can see this. I remember yesterday I told you and that I really didn't like dealing with uh, the burr comb and stuff that, that we get on these. So it's always good just to, I pull it off, I'll clean it up at the end of the day here. But I like to tip my box like this because it does, it gives me a good chance to um, take a look and see what I got inside the, inside the box. Okay, so let's get back at it. So far I'm liking what I'm seeing here as far as uh, numbers go. As I said before, I just want to have to clean all this, all this up. This is, this here stuff is this burr comb. It's, it's just really messy. It causes, when you do inspections, it causes uh, one box of frames, like the upper frames, to stick down under the lower frames, and it's just it's just better to get to get rid of it. I mean, it's nothing. It is nothing, you know. Like you have to. It just it just makes working in the hives um, a lot easier. Okay. 
And they're starting to hit on me now. Like I said, these are uh, uh, these are carnies. You can tell by the darker uh, appearances to them. They are a bit. They're a bit more aggressive than, let's say, the uh, Italian honeybees. Break that. What I'm doing here is I'm just kind of breaking the, uh, the propolis. Believe it or not, these bees can really seal in these frames. This is another one that's stuck to the bottom. And this is another solid frame honey. I'm gonna put that one, rest that frame up over on this. Another very heavy frame and another another solid frame of honey. Really mad at me, but really don't want all that close to on this. All right, so let's uh, pop it down here, see what we got here. So, on this frame here. I do got some, I could see drone brood right away on this frame here, so, uh, and the, and you could tell the difference, now drone, first off, you could tell the difference between drone brood and, and regular worker brood, in fact, in, in the fact that drone brood is, is puffy, it's like, it, it looks kind of like popcorn. As opposed to the nice flat uh, worker brood, which is usually it's it, it's flat on the uh, it's flat on the frame, kind of looks like sandpaper, and uh, drone brood is usually it's it's raised, it's puffy, kind of looks like a like a popcorn. So let's uh, pull this up. Uh, Okay, so what, you, what we got here, now if you're looking at this, this is all, this is all um, honey. This up here, this is the puffy stuff I was talking to you about. This is drone brood, this is the male, this will come out, uh, uh, male bee. 
They're uh, quite a bit bigger than the worker bees. There's a drone right there. There's a couple of drones. They're quite a bit bigger uh, than the other bees. Um, their sole purpose in their entire life is to fly out of the hive and mate with any queens that are, that are uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the yard. Um, that's their sole purpose. But anyways, this and, and eat, they take up resources. At the end of a uh, at the end of a season, coming toward the end of the season, uh, the drones will be uh, kicked out of the hive and not allowed to return. They'll die. That's their life. So, moving some of this out of the way here. So this here, this here stuff in here, like I said, it was it's it looks flatter, so darker. Uh, it's kind of got a sandpapery texture to it uh, as compared to this one here, these which are raised up and puffed up and they kind of look like a popcorn. Uh, this is all, this is worker, cap worker brood in there. And uh, this is cap drone brood up in here. And on this side of the frame, They're just got some drone brood up in here, but basically, uh, basically this here is being filled out, uh, being made into honey on this side. And I'm being real careful when I pull these frames out because what you don't want to end up doing is doing something called rolling your queen, which is death to her, injuring her. Uh, so on this one here, you can see again, got honey on the outside, cat brood all around here. I'm going to quickly see if I can't see it eggs or anything in here. I do see some I do see some eggs and I do see some larva. And here's the uh, the money shot. Look at them moving around on there. I'm thinking there might be a queen down in there with the way that that, that group is moving with her. This is a, pretty much just a full frame of cap worker brood. Uh, this is a really, to a beekeeper, to a beekeeper this is this is better than seeing honey, okay? Uh, just because of the sheer, the, the weight that it has, it just makes everything really, really tough. Um, but you know what? If it wasn't for the honey, we probably probably wouldn't be caring. Uh, wouldn't care too much about the bees. People probably wouldn't, you know, outside of the fact that they're 
pollinators and um, but uh, it, it is kind of what the gives them some credibility to what, what they are is the honey people enjoy people enjoy it but to the person that's raising the bees uh, honey's just kind of a it's kind of a side note. I'm raising bees. I, um, uh, I'm hoping to, at some point, have enough where I can sell a couple of a couple of few nukes a year, uh, some packages, um, do something like that. You know, not not to make a living, but just to support the hobby. Another, another nice frame of brood. Oh, nice brood in that. more brood so there is room right now in this bottom box This is a really strong hive. This is another one that's pretty heavy. Let me turn in that. The last one was awesome. Let's see. There's no really reason for me to go. I'm not. I didn't really see any super procedure or swarm cells in here. This is a good strong hive. Uh, what I'm gonna do is, like I said before, when I put this back together, is I'm going to pull some. Uh, I'm gonna keep some of these uh, honey frames and, and uh, probably use them for later use. Um, I'm gonna put in some empty frames in here just to give them some more room for for brood. I don't so let's, let's get this all put back together.
what I'm doing here is I'm smoking the box that I have tipped upright on its side to drive the bees back into the into the frames that I have. So when I put it back onto the cut onto the other box, I'm not smashing any bees. Now keep in mind that even with the four frames missing, with those six frames, this one box is probably about yeah, 60 pounds. foundation let's see we'll put that one in here an old frame of uh, drawn comb. Put that one in there. Just gonna stagger them up a little bit. giving a lot of smoke is because I am moving this frame to the end. Another frame, the foundation. Let's set that in there. Okay, so I I pulled out four frames. I pulled out four frames of honey out of this. Um, I'm probably just going to set those in the go burn until I see how the other, how the other beehives are doing, uh, with their resources. And, uh, if I've got a weak hive or a, a hive that isn't doing so good on resources, I'm going to use some of these honey frames, uh, for those resources. Okay. 
we're going to do right now. Just shake the bees off of here. Make sure I uh, that these are all full honey plants. If not, if I put any in here that I brewed on, I'm gonna have to pull the frame. And and when I got to the one of the other frames, I did realize that uh, I did put uh, a brood frame in there with the honey. So yes, indeed, I did have to pull out another frame and put the fruit brood frame back into the box. Put the brood back in the box. Huh? Pull out this frame again, right here. This was a uh, this was a frame of foundation, and I just put it in there. Uh, so let's pull that out right now. I gotta do that is because uh, one of those frames that I pulled out that had the honey on it also had brood, so I'm not gonna lose any brood. Yeah, it actually had quite a bit of brood, so. Very carefully. So basically what I did there was that when I put the frames in, I'm giving the queen some more space to lay eggs. Um, maybe the bees have a little bit more space to make some honey, but um, mainly just to give her some, some egg laying space. Puff a little smoke on there, get these guys back down. Put this, uh, put the inner cover on. And I think 
with this uh, on top. So anyways, this, this hive is looking really strong. That's it. Um, I hope there was something in there that you could learn from. You know, a lot of it's just pretty much the same. It's repetitive, but, you know, that's just the, the nature of the game. That's beekeeping. So, anyways, you guys have a good day. I'll catch you later. Bye.